Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today's video I thought would just be a fun, kind of chill, relaxing video to film. I saw this on Angelica's channel about a week or so ago and it really made me think, huh, I probably have a lot of that. And her video was about makeup that she bought that she definitely should not have bought. And I was like, I think we've all been there. So I just thought it'd be fun to like look through my makeup collection and see like what I have in my collection still that hasn't necessarily been decluttered that I definitely did not need to buy, but I still bought anyway. And I have them all just like in a little box in front of me and I thought we could go through them and talk about why I shouldn't have bought these, but somehow the makeup, the makeup god still convinced me to. So if that's something you guys are interested in watching, then keep on watching. Let's go. All right, let's start. This is in no particular order. I just, I'm gonna reach in. Let's start with this. I talk about that gingerbread packaging just gets me every single time. So when the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Palette came out, I feel like this was their first like thing that they released in the gingerbread line two years ago. It really does smell good. It smells like vanilla. It does not smell like gingerbread, which was a huge disappointment. However, I bought this because I really, really, really love the chocolate gold palette. And I was hearing that the formula of this was the same formula. And for the most part, yeah, I would say it is. However, the chocolate gold colors just, I like them more. And the chocolate gold, I bought half price, whereas I paid full price for this. So I paid almost $50 for this palette. And this does not get used $50 worth amount from me. Now, I like to bring it out come the fall and winter more so than the summertime. So I definitely haven't reached for it in a while, but like, I did not need to pay $50 for this palette. I love it because of this, it's more so than for this, so. I really didn't need to do that. Okay, let's, oh yeah, this, 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 this. You know, TJ Maxx and Marshalls have this like hypnotic power over you where they sell high-end makeup at a really discounted price and sometimes it is the deal of the century. And sometimes you buy another three pack of Stila Glittering Glows even though, even though you know how quickly they dry out, so. That was my bad. I mean, they're really cool colors. It's Follow the Sun, Burnished Sienna, and Sunset Fire. And I guess this may have been part of a holiday collection last year or so, but like, I know, because I have bought these sets before, how quickly these things dry out. So why did I buy another set of them? <sighs> because they were $10, that is the answer. So yeah, they're pretty to have and nice to have, but like, I know I shouldn't have bought them, you know, like, ugh. Okay, right, let's do, mm, let's do a ColourPop one. Why did I buy the Kathleen Light Zodiac pigments? <laughs> Just like, do you know how often I've used these? <laughs> Maybe once to twice each. I mean, like, why did I think I needed more than one, first of all? And like, I could use these for the entire rest of my life until I die. And I don't think I'd empty any of these. I, do, has anyone ever emptied any pigment? <laughs> Ever? I'm just like, why? Why did I think this was a great idea? They're very pretty, they're very sparkly, but like, this is this is how I wear my eyeshadow, nine times out of 10, like. In what planet was I living on this day? Let's go back to another TJ Maxx find. You know, NARS is expensive. I don't buy NARS full price very often, but I heard so much about this Albatross highlighter and I was like, oh my gosh, I need it. It's so affordable. I feel like it was like $10 and I was like, oh my God, a NARS highlighter for $10, yes, yes, yes. That definitely will work on my skin tone. Oh gosh, I'm like, it is like a gold duochrome. While it looks really pretty, it just, probably if I'm self tan, I could probably use this, but when I am not self tan, it looks like I have a yellow stripe on my face and it's not cute. I'm just like, why? Why, why, why? You know, it's just like that, those moments of like excitement that get you and it got me. Let's do a foundation. All right, this is from Hard Candy and this is their Glamouflage Full Coverage Foundation. I bought this because of Emily Noel and the way she described it doesn't sound like a foundation I would like. So I don't, I don't know what got me to get this except the fact that it was like a $6 foundation and it was like a $6 full coverage foundation, hey. This literally could be the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It, to me, it's the exact same thing. The, the, not the dewy one, the original. It's so full coverage, it's so mattifying. Like, 
And I didn't even buy it in a summer color, which is the time of year I typically wear something more mattifying. And it's just like, why? Why would I do that? Why would I buy something matte in my winter shade? Just like, why? Why did, there's gonna be a lot of why in this video, okay? All right, let's go back to TJ Maxx and Marshalls because I got this. Now, I've had very good experiences finding different kinds of face palettes at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but this is the MAC Hyper Real Glow highlighting palette, but this is the gold one. Why do I think this one was for my skin tone? These are, these are blinding highlights, blinding highlights, but they are not for fair skin tones. They're like very deep, but I was just so excited. So excited to have it. So they're again, something I could probably use more so in the summer when I'm self tanned, but like, why did I think I wanted the, the gold one when I don't ever buy gold highlighters? Why did I do this? You know, because I lack impulse control. Let's do a spray. This is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. To be fair, I bought a, a set of Tatcha things knowing this was in it. First of all, I don't like it. I, I think it's way too dewy, which is saying a lot for me, but like, it's more like an oil slick in my opinion. But like, what was I gonna do if I liked this? If I loved this and I ran all the way through it, was I gonna repurchase it? So why would I even like tempt myself with liking something like this if, like I have my Catrice Dewy Spray, which is just like so good. So why, why did I even tempt myself with this? Because I don't know. Let's do a concealer. The e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I've tried to love it. I really have. But why, <laughs> again, why? Did I buy something that described itself as a Tarte Shave Tape dupe? when I don't like Tarte Shape Tape because it's too dry on my under eyes. So why did I think that the $6 version would magically be the version that works for me? Not to mention that the shade I got is just so wrong. That's a whole different story. But like, <laughs> oops, just oops. <laughs> here's, a high, here's another highlighter. The Cruella de Vil highlighter from the Villains Collection. I was like, yep, that's, that's a shade that will work on my skin tone. Maybe you should have watched some reviews first that told you it was literally a glitter explosion. I don't know if the camera's gonna be able to pick up the glitter. I just kind of assumed it was gonna be like ColourPop Flexitarian, which is just like that like beaming glowy highlight. This might be a super shock, but this is a glitter explosion super shock. Did not know, did not know. I do have one last product here that is from a TJ Maxx slash Marshalls trip and uh, this is the NARS Laguna Bronzer, something I've always lusted after, lusted. I like dug through a container and found it. I remember so like the day I found it. If I had read it, I would have known it was their like sun diffusing bronzer and not their typical bronzer. And this, this formula, I would, I need to like claw at the powder, claw at the powder to get it to pick up on my brush because it is so packed in and hard pressed that I literally need to dig into this powder to get it to show up on my skin. And like, I got this at a good price for NARS, but like it was $16 still, like it is expensive. And like, why couldn't I have just read the box so that I knew it wasn't their traditional bronzer formula? Why, 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 why? Because I lack impulse control. <laughs> this is just like roasting myself. For 10 minutes. I have two more products, another foundation. All right, this is the Dior, what do they call it? Backstage foundation. I actually just, just finished like a little mini travel size, not even travel, trial size I got from Sephora of this foundation. And I liked that trial size, so I bought the full size. This is a while ago, kids. And I thought I wanted a different shade, so I bought a different shade of it. This shade does not look good on me. The shade that I had, the little mini, looked pretty good on me. This one, not so much. So I never reached for it. So I spent Dior pricing on a foundation in a shade that doesn't work. I'm going to try to make it a goal this year though to like find a good shade of foundation I have to mix this with because 
I will use this product out. But why did I do that? One last product. Let's just call like the Target little sale section, like how they have the little yellow signs that say clearance and they just put everything that's on clearance there. That's dangerous. Dangerous. Because you're like, oh, it's on sale. It's on sale. And that is where I bought this, the CoverGirl. I want to call it like their dupe of the Benefit one that has like a little brush here and although this piece doesn't stay for the CoverGirl one, it's a brow pomade. Let's call it what it is. It is a brow pomade. I don't use brow pomades ever. I say it all the time that like I'm too lazy to take the time to do my brows with a brow pomade when I can just run a pencil through, but it was on sale so I had to have it. I will say I mentally think I've gotten a little better at making uh, purchasing decisions. So uh, a lot of these purchases are, mm, they're a little older. I, I've gotten to know my makeup preferences a little better over the years, but it's sometimes fun to just roast ourselves and make fun of ourselves because it's just makeup. It's not serious, it's just fun. I mean, definitely let me know in the comments what makeup, like what makeup purchases you guys kind of feel like this about like, you know you shouldn't have bought it, but you were like in the moment and you just needed to have it. Definitely let me know in the comments so I don't feel completely alone in this one. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.